The 66-year-old son of a Detroit preacher will soon walk out of a Michigan prison a free man for the first time in over three decades. Former Governor Rick Snyder granted him a rare commutation in his final days of office. It's because several law enforcement agencies came forward saying this inmate provided crucial information exposing corruption in the prison system. Tonight, a Detroit homecoming is now being planned for inmate number 13423. Defender Kevin Dietz has his remarkable story. We're not identifying Jimmy for his own protection, stabbed and beaten behind bars because he cooperated with police to help expose prison corruption. Now law enforcement is going to bat for Jimmy, trying to get him freed from prison. For 30 years, inmate Jimmy helped the FBI bust dozens of corrupt prison officials. He helped police solve murders by secretly recording other inmates. For his troubles, he was labeled a rat, a snitch. He was stabbed seven times and almost died. He kept informing anyway. My faith is not in man, it's in God. And that's the reason I never asked once for anything, because I knew that God told me, I got your back, kid. Go for it, I got your back. Then last year, law enforcement went all out to get Jimmy freed from his 50 to 200 year sentence for armed robbery. He spent decades doing whatever he could do behind bars to try to help people both inside the prison and outside, outside the prison. The FBI wrote a glowing letter. So did the DEA. Even the prosecuting attorney who prosecuted Jimmy's case said, Jimmy should be free. Why? Because over and over again, he risked his life to help law enforcement. This guy deserved to get out. He had more than, he has more than paid his debt uh, to society. Ray Mascoro works for the Department of Corrections. He knows how dangerous life for a prison snitch can be. He has written exactly one letter recommending an early release. The letter was for Jimmy. He said, if the time comes, he said, I, I would appreciate the fact that, you know, you acknowledge what I did. And I said, that, that's fine. You were in that. The police from law enforcement worked. In Governor Rick Snyder's final days in office, he granted Jimmy clemency, which shortened his maximum 200-year sentence to time served. I got so emotional. I just broke down. I just cried, cried, cried. Jimmy says he didn't help police to get out early, but he's ecstatic that he is. I still get emotional to this very day right now. You know, just thinking of it, you know. Is it real? And those fighting for his freedom say it's long overdue. It's a marvel that he's stayed alive as long as he has. And I'm happy that he is going to get a chance to get out and do something else with his life other than get stabbed and beaten. Jimmy can't wait to get home to see his father, a retired deacon at this Detroit church. Well, I, 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 I you know, my, my, my father is, is, my, is my hero, you know. And I'll, I must go see him. I must see him. Hug him. Squeeze him. And to see his family, Jimmy is one of 10 kids. A party is being planned. They planned a, uh, a big, they always told me a big welcome. You know, they got a big welcome home uh, from the country. Jimmy says he was a troubled teen who went down a dark path, then found God in prison and devoted his life to making a difference. From behind bars, that meant exposing corrupt guards. God gonna see you do it, that's for sure, you know. So I, I, I can't fear, let fear control me or dictate what my life will be. Soon he'll walk out of his Michigan prison a free man. He's looking forward to continuing a life delayed by a 30 plus year incarceration. I just get so emotional, you know. I just it really throw the kid out of the crowd like a Baby. Jimmy will be released in the next two weeks. He tells me when he gets out, he is going to continue to do his work trying to make prisons safer for both inmates and employees. More on that part of the story tomorrow at 5. Kevin Dietz, Defenders.